Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to use a graph to find a number delta such that if x minus 4 is less than delta, then tangent of x minus 1 is less than 0 0.2. So to understand what this means, we're going to dissect these inequalities. So if the absolute value of x minus 4 is less than delta, then the magnitude of this is less than delta, which means either x minus 4 is less than delta and it's greater than negative delta. And if we add 4 to this inequality, we get that x is less than 4 plus delta, and it's greater than 4 minus delta. So basically what this means is that we're looking at a range of x values that are no more than delta away from 4. Next, we have the absolute value of tangent of x minus 1 is less than 0 0.2. This means that it's greater than negative 0 0.2 and less than positive 0 0.2. And if we add one, we get 1.2 is less than tangent of, or sorry, um, 0 0.8, negative 0 0.2 plus one, 0 0.8 is less than, this cancels, tangent of x is less than 1.2. So we're basically looking for a delta such that if you go no more than delta away from four, then you will go no further than this range of values when you plug that value of x into the tangent function. And we're asked to use a graph to find such a number, which I think will be really helpful in terms of visualizing what we're actually doing here. So I have the graph of the function pulled up here. And what we have to do is we are looking between the values of 1.2 and 0 0.8, right? Those are the values we just calculated. And in particular, right, since this is a um, function that repeats itself, so it might be hard to see like at which crossing of, let's say this line of uh, 1.2, we're actually talking about, we're gonna zoom in on four. And we can see that this is pretty much the um, intersection that they're gonna be talking about. So we have 1.2, and 0 0.8. And we can see this stretch of the function here is the values for which we are close to 4, which matters for the first inequality, and between the values of 1.2 and 0 0.8 um, in the y direction, which is important for the second one. And so we need to see, if we zoom in here, what are these values that the function takes on a um, certain x value and then puts out 1.2 or puts out 0 0.8. So if we do that, we get right here 4.017 and down here 3.817. So 4.017 and 3.817. So this means that if we want tangent of x to be between these two values, x has to be between these two values. And these are being represented by a distance delta away from four. So what is delta? Well, we have this delta and this delta, and we'll see for us in a second why they don't match. Negative delta equals um, negative 0 0.183 for delta equals 0 0.183. And just subtracting four here, we get delta equals 0 0.017. So which of these is the actual delta? So drawing for a second what the graph basically looked like, um, we have a thing like here, and here, and here were the values in which we needed to stay within 1.2 and 0 0.8. And here, we had x is equal to 4, right? And it was really, really close to 1.2, and it was further from 0 0.8, right? Um, just to uh, visualize this, this is the point where x equals 4 on the function. See, it's really close to 1.2, and it's a lot further from 1.8, which is way down at the bottom. So what that means is, 
if we're going in the positive direction, we only have to go 0.017 before we get to values that are outside of this range that we're talking about. Meanwhile, we have to go much further in this direction, 0.183, which is a lot bigger than um, 0.017, until we get values that are actually going to be outside of this range, below 0.8. So what we have to recognize here is that we have to go with the more restrictive delta value. Because if we go 0.183 in the positive direction, we're going to land way out here beyond the range, versus if we go 0.017 in the other direction, right, the negative direction, then we're going to land not without, not outside of the range because it's the more restrictive value. So our answer is 0.017.